Hello guys, welcome to Pug Camper. This is Jonathan. Um, so I'm that little misty lake. Took me about five hours poor to get here. Not easy, f not easy for me. So uh, really, really tired. Got here. This is four o'clock. I got. I left around. Left around 11. Really pretty behind me, as you guys can see. Beautiful weather. Just gonna show you how I got here. Ready? Let's go. to be careful the whole time and uh, my fishing fishing rod snapped again it broke off just now I don't even know how like I took it I lifted up this tree that's not mine by the way so we left the garbage here and I just heard a snap and it gone oh my god every single time I bring my fishing rod out it breaks this is like the the fourth one I broke in my life so far and it's like Ah, oh, cringe, man. Ah, oh, so annoyed, so annoyed. But uh, I'm still gonna try to fish off of it. Let's keep going. Okay, long story short, came back with my canoe and uh, put my canoe in the water, went back to get my bag, and then when I turned around, my canoe was uh, blown into the water, like this right now. And uh, so I thought to go in there to get my canoe. I turned around and my canoe was literally like floating away. So I thought, I thought, you know what, I can just like get everything and then walk in this. And the moment I step in, it's like a softest marshland ever. I went straight into like, to the top of my, uh, to like the, 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 the bottom of my chest. And I was carrying princess. And I had my phone, my wallet, my keys on me. So I was like, holy, and I came out and then uh, my canoe was still floating away. And I put everything out, I uh, took everything out, put Princess down, and I swam over to get a canoe. So I'm all wet. And uh, yeah. <sighs> what a trip, eh? I just wish there was no leech on me. I can't really see. Check, check, check. Yeah. We'll see. But yeah, that was, uh, that was a little scary. I guess I've, uh, I've done my swimming for the day. Okay, I'm gonna keep going now. I got princess. <laughs> Look at all the mud on her. Gotta wash her off later too. <laughs> I've taken almost four hours. It's almost been four hours um, since I started. But as you know, as you guys know, there's a lot of things that happen in between. So I had to like slow down a lot. Um, and this high wind earlier, crazy, crazy paddling. And yeah, almost there. Probably another hour, I think, because I still have one poor touch, straight paddling till I get to the campsite. Yeah, not bad so far. I saw a moose earlier on the track. 
while I was portaging, but you know, my phone was off and my camera wasn't, uh, wasn't accessible to me. <sighs> but it was a big, uh, not big, but it was, I think it's a young bull, so like male moose. It has a, it has a rack on his head. It just ran away from me. I thought it's somebody with a canoe. And uh, right, because I was portaging as well, and I thought somebody was portaging um, coming toward me. So I stopped, and I'm thinking like, okay, I'm gonna let this guy go first. And then when I looked up, I was like, oh my god, it's a moose! Am I at the portage already? Nope. It doesn't like it. Oh! Wrong way, wrong way. Where's the right way? Uh, Alright, so... Uh, I'll see you guys at the campsite. Later. We'll come back. How you like it? You like it? I hope you do. Um, Alright, so let me show you how Little Misty Lake campsite looks like. Uh, so far, so good. One thing about it is really grassy. It's really, really grassy. As you can see, there's Princess just chilling. Beautiful, beautiful look though. That look. And uh, apparently that's a very good fishing spot as well. So we'll see how it is in a bit. And as you guys can know, as you guys know by now, I broke my fishing rod. So I don't know how that's gonna be. And there is a campfire, beautifully set up. That's a tent pad back there. I don't see any pathways. Oh, there's one right here. There's the pathway. Where does it go? Uh, nowhere. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Where can I find firewood? Where can I find firewood? Oh, here's the pathway. Here it is. Alright, so I'm gonna take a look later. I'm not gonna go up now. I'm really tired. What I'm gonna do now is to set up my set up my campsite, you know, my tent and uh, my chairs and all that stuff. Have a quick snack um, and gather some firewood. Uh, not too much, you know, just enough for like maybe two hours. I don't need that much firewood tonight. I'm uh, the sun is not gonna set till like 9:40, and I'm just gonna need fire for dinner, and that's it. That's it. So, oh yeah. And after all that, whoosh, whoosh, not, not whipping you guys, but whoosh, gonna go fishing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I was trying to get some firewood and um, because it is a pretty popular site. So I guess quite a lot of people have been here since the campsites opened. And so there, I couldn't find any dead wood. And so I went deeper and deeper. And last thing I know, I don't know, I walked into like a swarm of black flies. I literally just got like, <laughs> like five bites on my face and some of my hands and then some of my feet on my legs. And I'm just like, this is too much. So I ran out and I really don't think I'm going to have a campfire tonight. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to cook dinner. Um, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Uh, probably just gonna cook it with my uh, my uh, camping stove that's not gonna be the best because I did prep something really nice but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see how it is oh my god one of my nose too uh, she's got bites on her face too if you look closely that's a bite right there and like yeah so if you look closely that's all bites <laughs> Poor baby. So, uh, I've been fishing for about an hour now. And the only bites I got are from those tiny little fish uh, by the shore. And if, when I'm like in the middle of the lake, I got nothing. Nothing at all. No bites. Nothing. Uh, and uh, right now, I'm feeling very, very very frustrated like I don't even feel like camping I just want to go home you know there's a lot of things today like falling in the water um, not being able to capture the moose on my camera because I left it behind um, not getting any fish at all again although I, I know for sure there are trouts in this lake for sure 
for sure and uh, couldn't get any firewood and I miss my family uh, miss my friends I was looking forward for dinner I was looking forward to fishing <sighs> and right now I just feel like honestly 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 I'm feeling really lonely right now like I miss talking to people I miss like having somebody behind like you know sitting behind me um, talking to me and I think I feel lonely because a lot of time today most of the time today I'm scared like I don't know what's gonna happen because um, I'm far away from from you know people this is the only campsite on this lake and if anything happens to me that's it you know so today when I had to jump in the water and um, today there's a couple times where I thought my canoe was gonna flip because of the high wind the wind was crazy today earlier like now it's a lot calmer but earlier it's crazy it's crazy and I'm just tired I'm really really tired and I still gotta cook and if I have somebody else you know they, they can help me out with it I know this is getting really long like a talk but this is like another part of me that you guys don't really see uh, when I'm camping I haven't filled this in a long time um, I think last time I felt this was when I was lost in the woods I was like oh my god I was so scared and I was like I wish I got I got somebody with me and tomorrow I gotta do this all over again five hours back and I just like I want to be home and just spend time with my nephew I feel like crying right now. spend time with my family you know I know like if I, if I get a fish and something I'll feel a lot better but getting nothing nothing again anyway anyway thanks for listening to my rants um, just gonna fish for another half an hour if I, if I get something I get something on, whatever man like I'm, I'm so done with this right now I know me too how's your day so far hmm no, nothing. We're inside our tent right now, you know, just chilling. It's almost nine o'clock, and uh, I didn't make dinner. I didn't. I didn't eat anything. Don't really feel like it. Uh, so I'm just drinking beer right now, which is outside of my tent. And yeah, after finishing the beer, hopefully it'll be nine something. And then I can be like her right now. Look at her. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, okay, she didn't like it. I can still see you. We can still see you, princess. Oh my god, guys, I'm going crazy. I'm like talking to myself for the past 20 minutes. And her. Oh. oh my god, so many bucks outside. See? Yep, you guys can see. They're out to get us. Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning. I was buried in my sleeping bag all night because it actually got really, really cold last night. I think it dropped to like 5, 6 um, degrees Celsius. Right, so then I got up, and then everything's wet, because it's how cold it was last night, and then um, outside is really, really foggy. So yeah, sleeping bag's all wet, um, my tent's all wet, as you guys can see. I don't know if I should like get up now and cook breakfast ASAP, and then pack up, because there's no bugs outside at the moment. And I know if I wait till like 9, 10, they're coming out. I've gotten up, had to wear my rain jacket because uh, the bucks are just having their breakfast on me. Uh, the buck spray is not working as best as it can, right? I already packed up everything. I didn't have breakfast either because, like I said, it's 8 o'clock right now. It's 8 o'clock and the mosquitoes are out having their breakfast. So I came out and I was just like, oh my god, like, 
like this is this is hot for me. Like I'm I'm sweating inside. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get on the lake, have some of my protein bars, um, have water, and that's it. And then just like go home, you know. Packed up everything already, and I'm just gonna go. Let's go. What a I don't know this camp. This camping trip, eh? It's just not. It's just not my luck. I was putting the canoe in. Everything was in, just me. And then the woman I step in, princess run to it, like walk toward my side, and the whole canoe just went. Doop! And then I was like, uh oh. But I was standing in the middle, by the way. And then because the princess, like whole canoe just tilted, and because the tip of the canoe is on the rock, so it it, it just moved. It just tilted over. Next thing I know, half of my body is in the water again because I jumped out where else the whole canoe was coming down with me. And then the, whole, the canoe still got like a half canoe full of water. My luck, eh? This, what's going on this trip? It's just crazy. Like everything's just not going the way I wanted to. Drive back for the win. Yeah. Got seaweed in my canoe now. Today, but this is the beaver dam that uh, you have to kind of cross. So unfortunately I have to get out. It's not too steep here, so it should be fine. But yeah, I just like dragging the canoe up. And knowing my luck today, I'm not gonna be filming this part because there is a very, very great chance of my, uh, you know, camera falling in the water. And I'm not gonna let it happen. All right, so I'm gonna cross now, see ya. Well. It's been three and a half hours, and I'm back. Over there, that's the uh, Masses Point. So I'm back. Um, didn't really stop in between, so it took me three and a half hours. Oh no. It was, um, I think, about half an hour breaks in between. So, I mean, I don't think I can go faster than that. It's really tiring when you just, pad when you just keep paddling. Yeah, and here's Princess. That's it, that's it for this trip. I know it's like, this trip is kind of disappointing for me, at least, and very, very frustrating. Didn't do a lot of things, to be honest. But at least, at least I still feel like I've accomplished something, you know, like, this much portage in two days. Oh my God, my arm's getting so tired just carrying the camera. I'm so tired and hungry. But uh, yeah, that's it, that's it for this trip. And uh, I really, I, I hope you guys, understand what happened last night like the loneliness part of it and why you know camping is not always like yay happy 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 positive positive good things happens I, I guess you just have to like really really prepare yourself a lot of times when you're camping not it's not always gonna be a good experience and this one for me this one is probably one of the most um, you know among the others uh, the worst camping experience. So, anyway, I really hope the next one will be a lot better. Probably will not do a solo camping for a while. Uh, yesterday was just really not for me. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Say bye, guys. Say bye to Princess, who's really upset about all the mosquito bites she has on her face. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. That's all mosquito bites. All right. See you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers.